Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen of the internet? This is a CEO treatment of Love is Blind. Love is Blind because movie theaters aren't open and I have nothing else to talk about. Is that, that's right? Do I really need to do a CEO treatment on this? Yes, you do. Why? Because you need new content. That too. So let's do a CEO treatment on wallpaper drying. That's probably more interesting than this. Just, just do the video. Whatever. <laughs> Try this again. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. This is the CEO treatment of Love is Blind. 30 men and women sign up for an experiment of speed dating, but their version of speed dating is like a bad episode of Black Mirror. But on these dates, the contestants are placed into two rooms, or pods, as they like to call them. They can't see each other. All they can do is communicate. And if they like each other, within seven days after just communication, they get the opportunity to propose to that person so they can marry them. I can't make this up. And this Hunger Game version of Love at First Sight is hosted by Vanessa Lachey and obviously Nick Lachey. And there, ladies and gentlemen, we have our show. So what did I like? The concept of this show and how it flowed was actually pretty cool to watch. It made for some compelling moments, to say the least. I found it very interesting to watch those pod dates, to see how people interact with each other when it's just conversation. You don't see what they look like, no physical features, because we live in a society where we judge book by its covers all the times, and there is a plethora of apps where it's just left the right swipes to know if you like someone. If you grew up in the generation I did and you're my age, which is young by the way, just saying, that's young, but if you grew up in the generation I did, you used to talk on your parents' house phone for hours to somebody to really get to know them and I enjoyed watching that type of concept in this show. So shout out to them for that. But as far as the tributes go, I'm sorry, I mean the contestants. As far as the contestants go, I really did like Barnett and Jessica's drama. That that was fun to watch. But who are we kidding? Let's be honest. We know we watched this entire show for the poster child love story of Lauren and Cameron. Let's not pretend they aren't the best thing to happen in 2020 so far. And they are so freaking cute together. And let me just say, if there is a season two of this show, can we have them be the host, please? I don't want to see the game makers of Vanessa and Nick, I'm sorry, obviously Nick Lachey again. Now moving over to the other side, what didn't I like? Bro, I wanted to see more pod dates after the first episode. It was the same eight or nine people for the rest of the show and those pie dates got a little stale boring or uninteresting because it wasn't much variety the first episode gave you a lot to work with the second episode should have did more of the same and also Lauren meeting Cameron's parents Netflix Y'all couldn't throw that in there? There was plenty of things you could have took out and replaced it with Lauren meeting Cameron's parents. I could have did without Damien's sauerkraut voice. I could have did without hearing Jessica wanting Barnett 12 times. And you could have took out a whole 47 minutes of Kelly. I, I was over her a long time ago. Basically, I need Netflix to drop some deleted scenes of older pod dates and Lauren meeting Cameron's parents. I need that. And the last thing I didn't like Let's move on. But overall, while I'm not the biggest fan of reality TV because there's actually so much of it that's actually real, this was a decent watch and enjoyable in my time of quarantine. But at the same time, it's interesting shows like this that keep Netflix at the top of the streaming charts. And that's why I walked out of Love is Blind on the better side of the neutral zone. So if you guys seen Love is Blind or plan to, if so, drop a comment below. Got an idea? Let me know. I look forward to doing more of these in the future. Peace out.